The Open Contracting Data Standard defines a contracting process as all the planning, tendering information, awards, contracts and contract implementation information related to a single initiation process. That initiation process can be a tender, a direct contract award, or a call to award a concession. There are three key components to OCDS. The schema sets out the fields, structures, data types and validation rules for OCDS data. The documentation site explains how to use the schema and how to package, license and publish data. And finally, governance and versioning, which formalizes the process for making changes to the standard and engages stakeholders. The documentation site at standard.open-contracting.org is kept up to date and takes precedence over any other materials about OCDS, so it should be your first point of reference. OCDS data can be published in either JSON format or tabular formats like CSV files or spreadsheets. JSON is favored by developers because it uses human-readable text, can contain large volumes of data, and is particularly good at handling one-to-many relationships. Tabular format will be familiar to many people who use spreadsheets such as Excel. Although OCDS schema is described using JSON, publishing in both formats will meet more users' needs. Whichever format you publish, you must follow the rules of the standard. OCDS was designed to meet a broad spectrum of user needs by government, civil society and business, including achieving value for money and internal efficiency, detecting and deterring corruption, enabling fair competition, and monitoring the effectiveness of service delivery. Publishing OCDS data has several benefits. You can use quality assurance checks to ensure the data uses the correct structure and contains the required fields. You get access to a growing ecosystem of reusable tools and methodologies for working with OCDS data. You get access to definitions, guidance, templates and documentation describing how to publish and use the data. You can compare your data with other publishers' data to examine value for money and other types of analysis. And finally, you can join an international community of publishers and users to learn from and share your work with. Even though OCDS is an international standard, you can localize it to reflect your own language, context and terminology. You can also use OCDS extensions to add new fields and codes to accommodate your requirements. Documenting extensions helps users to interpret your extra fields and helps other publishers to disclose similar concepts. Visit the standard documentation for more information or watch our Introducing Releases and Records video.